And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, and it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And, he, and God called the light day, and the darkness He called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Let us pray. Lord, we just come to You again, Lord, humble, mm -hmm. to be in Your presence. Wow. Just again, thanking You so much for everything that You do for us. Lord, we can never thank You enough, Lord, because You do so much for us, Lord. Yes. And Lord, we just, again, just want to say thank You. Thank You for salvation, Lord. Wow. Thank You for, for salvation that You so freely give, yep. Lord. Wow. And Lord, thank You that because of You, yep. and only because of You, Lord, we, we have hope. Amen. We have a chance, Lord, yep. in this own life. Yep. And only because of You. Yep. Lord, I just want to say I love You. Yep. I want to thank You. Thank You, Lord, for taking an old worthless sinner like mm. me, Lord. Mm. Making into something new. Lord God. You're so you're so precious. Yep. You're so wonderful. Yep. And again, we can never thank you enough. No. But thank you yep. so much for every single thing that you did for us. In your precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Walk across the aisle, shake somebody's hand. <laughs> said, hey, that's as good a place to start as any. So we might as well start at the beginning. Alright? But you know, the Lord's really burnt this Scripture on my heart here lately. Because I think sometimes we just need to be reminded of who God is. We, we, we need to be reminded of how big He truly is. Okay? Because sometimes I think we let the things that bother us, we let the things of this world diminish how right. big God really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we'll let those problems and things get bigger right. than what He is. Okay? Well, I'm here to tell you tonight that nothing that can happen in this world will ever be bigger than God is. Right. Okay? Because He is the Lord. Yep. That before there was, right. He was. Yep. Yeah. Before there was anything, yep. He was. My man. He was the one that spoke it, yep. mm -hmm. and it happened. Yep. Yeah. He is the only one right. that can create, right. that can create yep. anything. Right. Man likes to take credit and say that we create things. But man cannot create anything because man has to have something to start with. And guess what? God started with nothing. God started with nothing and made everything. Okay? He is the only one that can create anything. Alright? He is the only one 
that can separate the darkness and the light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You know, sometimes though, I just think we need to be reminded right. of him. Yeah. You know, he's the one that loves. He's right. the one that is. He's the one that we will come mm -hmm. here. We don't like to think about that a whole lot of times. Because when he comes back, right. when he comes back, it's not going to be as a child. Right. It's not going to be as a baby. Right. It's not going to be as a sacrifice. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. He will come back as a judge. Yep. Yeah. Okay? Yep. He will. We don't like to think about that. But guess what? There will be a day. Right. There right. will be a day. He is the one. Yep. He is the one that when we have soldiers on one side, an army, and water on the other, yeah. that He can make it work. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, we're, he's the one that when we're standing and we have walls on all sides, right. looks like there's nothing that can happen. Nothing that we can do. Guess what? There is nothing that we can do. Yeah. You know, I shared with a couple of people, you know, there was a time in my life that I was standing there and there was truly walls on all four sides. There was no way out. I didn't know what to do. And there was nothing else that I could do. I had truly done everything that I could do. And then right on time. <laughs> right on time like he always does. Alright? Alright? Right when it looked like there was no hope, there was no way, he didn't just make a way. He didn't get open the door. He knocked every single wall down and said, here it is. That's the God that we serve. That's the God that we serve. And when we think that there is no way whatsoever, if we would just trust Him, if we would just pray, right. and if we would just let Him be Him, right. He will always make it work. Yep. 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 He's the one that can make fire and have no sin. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. Can't explain that. Right. All right, it's not even possible. But with God, all right. Right. Yeah. right. You know, I was thinking about that. I was reading through the scripture with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You know, I think one Wednesday night he brought it out and said, We need to have the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego syndrome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? We do. We need to say, Hey, God, guess what? Yeah. Even if you don't do what I want you to do, I'm going to praise you anyway. Yeah. Yeah. All right? yeah. I'm going to praise you anyway. You know yeah. why? Because you still work. Yeah. 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 Because he doesn't do what we want him to do. Right. Just because he's not a genie in a bottle. Right. Okay? Right. Which we like to and want him to be. Right. Just because he's not. And just because he doesn't do things exactly when we want him to. Right. And how we want him to. Guess what? He still works. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He still works. But you know, I was thinking about that. I was thinking, you know, it's so easy. For me to stand on the outside of your furnace and say it's not so hot. Right. Right. It is. Right. It's easy for me to do that. Right. Okay? It's a little different when you're in there. Right. All right? Right. It's a little yeah. different when you're in there. Yeah. It's easy for me to stand on the hill right. far off and say you're dry. It's not so big. Right. Yeah. All right? It's easy. But it's a lot different when you're standing That's there. Right. Yeah. It's a lot different when you're standing there. The yeah. one thing. And one thing that I can promise is the fire is never too hot for God. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. And the giant's never too big. Right. 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 The valley's never too deep. And he can always make it. Because it says, the word says that heaven is his throne right. and the earth is his bush. Yep. <laughs> the God like that Anything's possible. Uh, yeah. Anything's possible. But sometimes we just be, be reminded that hey, no matter what we're going through, guess what? He's still God. Uh, yeah. Alright? No matter what's coming up against us, yeah. He's still bigger. He's still able. He is still more yeah. than capable right. of taking care of it. 
We just have to let Him be God. Right. But verse 1 says, in the beginning, God. God. Yeah. He stopped right there. Yeah. You don't need to say anything else. Right. Yeah. That says everything that needs to be said right there. Because yeah. guess what? He was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he is. Yeah. And He is the same today. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. This moment. Yeah. In time. Yeah. As He was right then. Right. Yeah. He hasn't changed one bit. No. No. Not even a little bit. He's still as powerful. Yeah. Yeah. He's still as mighty. Yeah. He's still as great. Right. Yeah. And He's still just as worthy. Right. Yeah. As He was yeah. right then. But He said He created the heaven and the earth. Yeah. All of it. Everything. Alright, All right, because before, it was just Him. Right. But He created it all. I think we seem to forget that sometimes. We get caught, get caught up in, in all the things around us and all the garbage. Right. Man, there's so much garbage out there now. Yeah. You know? Evolution. Right. Evolution is just being force-fed right. to our children. Okay? The biggest lie, yep. the biggest yep. bunch of garbage yep. that has ever been. Right. I want to tell you, it takes way more faith right. to believe in that yeah. Yeah. than it does to believe yeah. in that there's a God right. that created everything. Right. Because man, all of a sudden there was nothing and then there was something. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, they're partially right because it wasn't nothing because it was God. Uh -huh. Alright? Because it was God. Yeah. And then there was something. Why? Because He right. wanted it to be. Uh, yeah. Alright? And there, you know, the Big Bang Theory, they may even be right there. Because God doesn't always just whisper. Right. All right? All right? I don't know how loud He spoke. Okay? So they may be right on that part. Yeah. Yeah. But I can promise you that he was the one. Oh, yeah. Amen. That he was the one. Yeah. But verse 2 says, And the earth was without form, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. You know, when I see that, I see a picture of me before Christ. Right. Mm -hmm. Because before Christ, I was without shape, mm -hmm. I had no identity. I was born and I was surrounded by darkness yeah. 24 yeah. yeah. No hope. Looking in everything but the answer right. for the answer. Right. Because like we've talked a thousand times before, there is no answer outside of Christ. Right. Right. There is no only sorrow only pain yep. and only day. Yep. But I see I see a, a symbol of the way things are outside of Christ. But it says in the second part of verse 2, <laughs> and here, <laughs> I love it when people say, well, you know what, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit didn't show up <laughs> until Christ ascended. Well, you obviously have not read verse 2 yeah. of Genesis. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Obviously have not read verse 2. Because right here, it makes it plain. Yeah. It makes it clear. Alright? Because it says, in the Spirit. Right. Why? Because the Spirit's always been. Right. As long as God has existed, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. has yeah. the Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? It didn't just all of a sudden appear. After Christ ascended back to heaven. I'm sorry, it. Yeah, that is a pet peeve of mine too. And I just did it. I am sorry. The Holy Spirit, He, yeah. Yeah. He did not just start to exist. Okay? He has always been. Yeah. I can't stand when, when someone calls the Holy Spirit an it. Alright? Because if God is not an it, 
If Christ is not in it, then that means that the Holy Spirit is not in it. Yeah. Because they are three in one. Yeah. If God is He, if yeah. Christ is He, yeah. then the Holy Spirit yeah. is He. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And I apologize for that. And it says, in the Spirit of God, what did it do? What did He do? The Spirit of God moved. Yep. Hey, yep. you know what we need <laughs> today? Yeah. You know what we need this moment? We need a movement. We need a movement. A stir. Yes, we do. From the Spirit of God. Because you know what makes a difference? You know what changes men and women? The movement. Of the Spirit of God. It takes alcohol. He takes addicts. He takes hormones. Yep. He takes murders. Yep. He takes the low of the yep. low yep. and makes them more than they ever thought yep. they could be. Yep. Sure uh, come on. Why? Yep. Because he's that big. Yep. Uh, because he's that big. Yep. He's always bigger. Yep. You know, we should be praying every single time that we go before him that he fill this place. Yep. Amen. Yep. That he fill this place. Yep. Yep. Not with saved people. Okay? They're welcome too. Yeah. But not with saved people. That he fill this place with drug addicts. Yeah. That he fill this place with prostitutes. Yeah. That he fill this place with alcoholics. Yeah. That he fill this place with thieves. Yeah. That he fill this place with all the sinners that can possibly fit in here. Yeah. And we'll set up more places if yeah. we have to. Yeah. Because that is how things are changed. Yeah. Yeah. Alright? That's how. And they are the ones that will make a difference. Yeah. Right? There's a reason that Christ didn't go to the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the scribes when He came. Yeah. All right? Because they already knew everything. Yeah. Yeah. He went to the ones that He could make a difference. Yeah. Right? That would actually listen. Yeah. All right? And we've gotten away from that. Yeah. All of a sudden, we tried to decide who can come in and who can't. Yeah. All right? Last time I checked, everybody's welcome. Yeah, that's right. All right, and if everybody's not welcome, then guess what? None of us are. Not one of us. But that should be our prayer every time that we pray. Yeah. Lord, just fill this yeah. place up with people. Yeah. We don't care. We don't care. Yeah. Just bring them in. Come on yeah. in, brother. Yeah. Come on in. But yeah, just fill this place up. Yeah. every single time that we're here. Right. Hey, if we need to meet a little bit more, we will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? If that's what it takes to yeah. get done what God wants to get done, right. then just fill the place up. Yeah. Because that's how we will see a change right. happen. Amen. That's how we will see a movement of God truly happen. Right. Mm -hmm. But it says, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. Yep. And there was light. Yep. Because without Him, without Him, you can't say it enough. Without Him, there is no light. There is nothing but darkness. Okay? There is nothing but darkness without Him. But, you know what? The good thing about it, the light will always defeat right. the darkness. Yeah. Yeah. All right? Yeah. When the sun comes up, yeah. guess what? Yeah. The darkness has no choice right. but to run. When the Son of God shows up, yeah. guess what? Yeah. The enemy and yeah. the darkness has no choice yeah. but to flee. Yeah. Because Light will always yeah. defeat yeah. the yeah. darkness. That's right. Always. Yeah. Always. But verse 4 says, and God saw the light. Yeah. And guess what? It was good. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. Guess what? The light is still good. Yeah. Alright? The light is still good. Yeah. The light is still the single best thing that will ever happen yep. to a man, woman, That's true. or yeah. child. Amen. 
Yeah. Because the light is none less than Christ. Yeah. Word says that one day he'll shine brighter than the sun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about anybody else, but I can't wait to that day. Yeah. Yeah. All right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't wait to that day when the sun doesn't have a job anymore. Right. Right. All right? Just goes on vacation, yeah. takes it yeah. easy. Yeah. Yeah. All right? Because the one that shines brighter. Right. Because the one that yeah. shines brighter. Yeah. But he said he saw it and it was good. Yep. It was good. And I don't know about anybody else here. I don't know about anybody else here. But when I had to run in with the light, yeah. good didn't even start to describe it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Good wasn't even the beginning. Huh? Alright? That that wasn't even that that wasn't even start right. because it was no less than life changing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? No less than life changing. And I praise Him every yeah. single day for that encounter. Amen. Because you know, I wasn't looking for Him. Wanted well, nothing to do with Him. But He sought me out. Anyway. That is the God that we serve. Alright, brothers and sisters, that yeah. It's the God that we serve. Yep. That is what we need to be reminded of. Right. Yeah. When we wanted nothing to do with Him, He wanted everything yep. to do with yeah. us. Right. Yeah. That right. is the God that we serve. Right. Yeah. But verse 4 says, He saw the light and it was good. And He divided the light from the darkness. Right. You know, I thought about that and I was like, you know what? Thousands of years later, and he is still dividing the light yeah, right. from the darkness. Yeah. Yeah. Because every time that he snatches a soul out of hell, yeah. Yeah. guess what he's doing? Yeah. Amen. Guess what he's yeah. doing? He is dividing the light right. from the darkness. Yeah. Yeah. And every time that he snatches a soul out of hell, don't you just know the old enemy gets torn up? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Don't you just know he gets tore up? And you know, the bad thing about it, well, it's not the bad thing, but he knows what his faith is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't think he don't know Scripture. Okay? Because he quoted it to Christ himself. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. granted, he twisted it. Yeah. And he turned it. Yeah. Like he still does. Yeah. Okay? But yet, yeah, he used Scripture. So don't tell me that he don't know. He just wants to take as many people with him right. yes. as he possibly can. Right. All right. But you know, I thought about I thought about that before. And you know, there's a uh, committee of theologians, doctors in, in theology, pastors, uh, some other people that they get together and they go through the scripture one verse at a time. Okay. And they determine what is relevant and what is not. You know, I ran across that. And I said, well, they can have all the diplomas on the wall that they want to. Right. Yeah. They can have all the certificates yeah. on the wall that they want to. Right. They can be lifted up by man all they want yeah. to. Right. But I hate to tell them they don't know more than God. Right. Yeah. <laughs> because if God says yeah. that it's important, Yep. And it's important enough that he put it in there. Yep. And guess what? Amen. It's important. Yeah. Amen. All right? Every single yep. word is yep. the yep. to the last. Yep. Yep. Because had it not been, he wouldn't have put it in there. Right. Right. And guess what? He don't need man right. to decide right. whether it is or not. Yep. Because man never has been and never will be smarter than God. Amen. Okay? So they can sit there and they can do whatever they want to. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I'm just going to believe it all. Yeah. all right? I'm just going to believe it all. I'm just going to believe it. Every word's there for a reason. Yeah. And every word's there because He meant for it to be. Yeah. Okay? Right. Now, you guys can believe whatever you want to. But that's what I'm going to believe. Amen. But He said it divided the light from the darkness. Can you imagine if you... Woke up one day and the sun just didn't come out. 
It'd be bad, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it wouldn't take long for everything to die. Right. Yeah. Right. But God loves us enough mm -hmm. that He makes sure that right on time, yeah. every single day, that it comes up. Yeah. Yeah. He makes sure that right on time that we have just enough of it. Right. He makes sure that right on time we have enough rain. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He makes sure that the seasons happen the way that they're supposed to. You know, there's a place in the ocean where the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans meet. And where they meet, they do not mix. You can see both oceans and where they come together. They do not mix at all. How in the world can you look at that? Yeah. It's water. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and get that straight. Both of them are water. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Both of them are liquids. Right. But yet right there where they come together, they don't mix. Scientists can try mm -hmm. to explain that all they want to. But I'm here to tell you tonight, I only know one. Yeah. Right? Amen. I only know one right. that can take two bodies of water, run them right up to each other, and, then I'll and say, hey, yep. right there is where you stop. Yeah. Yeah. No further. You can come up together. Right. But you're not mixed. I only know one. And there is no scientific explanation for that, okay? <laughs> because again, they're both water. Right? And what does water do? It mixes up. Yeah. I don't care. It, you take water and put it together, it's mixing. Yeah. All right? And I guarantee you, you take water from the Atlantic Ocean, you take water from the Pacific yeah. Ocean, you pour both of them. In the same thing, yeah. and guess what? Yeah. They'll mix, yeah. but not right there. This is not biblical, but I truly believe this: that God did that just to say, "Hey, look, yeah. I am God. Yeah. Amen. I am God." But things like that just amaze me. Wow. Just amazes me as to how mighty. God really is. Yeah. And I don't think that we truly understand no. how mighty He really is. The one that spoke everything into existence. But verse 5 says, And He called the light day, and the darkness He called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. Do you remember the first day? You know, I got a cousin we call him Worm. Uh, he says all the time, you know, I've got one birth that I can't remember, and I've got a birth another one that I just can't forget. Yeah. You know? Amen. And, and you know, Amen. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hey, Amen. I don't remember the first one, yeah. but boy, yeah. I, I just can't forget that yeah. second one. Yeah. All right? yeah. Because that was the first day. Uh, yeah. That was the first true day right. of life. Yes. Amen. Because everything before that was dead. Right. Yes. Yeah. That was the first day. Yeah. And there's only one. There's only one that can provide. Right. There's only one that can do that. I don't care what's taught. I don't care what man says. I don't care how many diplomas someone has hanging up and tries to tell you otherwise. Yeah. Okay? Because the one that knows all told me that there's only one. Right. right? That's right. Right? Because Christ Himself said, I am the way. Yep. 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 I am the truth. Yep. I am the life. Uh, amen. No one. No one. No one. No one. No one. Yep. Comes to the Father right. Right. except by me. Yep. Amen. And maybe it's old-fashioned thinking 
Do you know what? I still believe that's true. Yeah. 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 And maybe it's old fashioned thinking, but I still believe God is just as mighty. Oh, yes. Yes. He's just as powerful. Yeah. Yes, he is. He's just as loving yeah. as He's always been. Right. Yeah. And He's just as much in control yeah. of everything right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Today, as He was the moment mm-hmm. He spoke right. into existence. And we have to understand that, brothers and sisters, that we go through things. Because Christ never said it would be easy. Right. Right. As a matter of fact, He said the opposite. Yeah. He let us know we would be personal. You know, and if we're doing the things that we're supposed to for Him, and we're being persecuted, we should praise Him for it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Because He is worthy. Oh, yes, He is. But He didn't say it would be easy. Okay? He just said that if we continue the fight, mm-hmm. that Amen. it would be worth it. Right. Yes. Okay? And look, He has never promised anything that He did not keep. That's true. Right. So if He promised that it would be worth it, no matter what we go through in this life, mm-hmm. He's bigger. Yeah. He's greater. Yeah. He's more powerful. Yeah. And He can take care of it. Yeah. And He promised that it would be worth it. Right. Yeah. He did. Call me crazy, but I believe Him. Yeah. Yeah. I believe Him. Because He's been too good for me. Yeah. And He's done too much for me yeah. for me to think anything good about Amen. Yeah. But I don't know what you're doing with tonight. We all go through things. Right. Okay? But I do know one thing. That He's still got us. Amen. Yeah. That He's still big enough. Yeah. He's still mighty enough. Mm-hmm. That no matter what it is, no matter how big, no matter how small, He still cares enough. Right. He still loves you enough. Yep. And He is still God enough. Right. Yeah. To take care of it. Yes. If we yes. just give it to him right. and let it. Why? Because that's the God that we serve. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Whatever you need tonight, it don't matter what it is. Bring it to him. Yep. But leave it with him. Right. right. Yeah. You don't have to drag it back out of you. No. Right. Because he wants to right. take it. Yeah. Mm-hmm.